story. Once again, getting a lot of comments and questions, sending uh, sending them our way using that hashtag. Hey, Dan, and they have a lot of them have to do with the two week freeze that started yesterday in Oregon or Monday in Washington. Questions like why some casinos can still be open like a and a and what's happening with the food cart pods? Will they stay open or how come shopping malls are open when so many other things have closed? Kristen Severance found the answers to all of them and more. OK, our first viewer question tonight, and it's one we've gotten several times. Why are Oregon casinos allowed to be open with their restaurants and bars open? Well, the Oregon Health Authority told us that Native American tribes in Oregon do not have to follow the governor's orders. Tribal owned establishments like casinos are allowed to stay open. Next question, will outdoor dining still be available at food cart pods? The answer here is no. So no outdoor dining according to the freeze rules. You can still get your food to go, of course, from the pond. Next question, are dentist offices, you know, still allowed to be open during the statewide freeze? And that answer is yes, the freeze will not impact um, any dental facilities. Next question, can you visit state and community parks under the freeze? Again, that answer is yes, but you must wear a mask, stay six feet away from each other, and groups cannot be more than six. Why aren't shopping malls included in the two week pause? Well, the governor's Spokesperson told us that shopping malls differ from restaurants in terms of the ebb and flow of customer traffic and the ability to keep face coverings on for the entire duration of the shopping trip. What are the consequences of not following Governor Brown's six person gathering rule? Well, you could keyword could be cited by law enforcement for not following the rules of the statewide freeze, which could again. This is a this is could not definitely mean up to 30 days in jail or a $1,200 fine or both. And then our last question, are face masks required anywhere outside? Yes, under the rules they are. And according to the governor's mandate, the only places you are not required to wear a mask, and we put this on the screen for you, at your own residence, in your car, if you're under five years old, if you're eating or drinking, you don't have to wear a mask if you're engaged in an activity that does not facilitate wearing a mask, like of course taking a shower, sleeping in a private private individual workspace or if you need to remove your mask briefly to, you know, have your identity confirmed. Hope that answers your question. We know you have so many of them. Keep them coming. Just use the hashtag. Hey, Dan.